I grew up on this fantasy of what dog sledding should be, so I thought it was this wonderful experience where you bond with your dogs, you give them an opportunity to run and be free and happy, which is not at all the reality. So when I first arrived for my tour, the owners of the dog sledding company decided to let me, if, if I wanted to, to mush my own team. My lead dog was this beautiful white dog named Bianca. She was the oldest and therefore the slowest and would set the pace of the rest of the dogs. As we were going around this massive lake that was frozen, Bianca was starting to get fatigued. Being inexperienced, I didn't realize just how fatigued she was getting. Uh, this caused some slack on the line and the rope wrapped around her back right leg as, as we were going and it caused her to trip. And the other dogs kept running and I could see from the sled that her leg was bleeding. The, the rope had cut into the flesh. At that point, the more experienced musher came over and helped me untangle the dogs. He, he was not happy about it, and yelling at me, and I was emotional. I was crying because here I see this injured dog. So at this point, I, I was really concerned, thinking, can she make it home? Shouldn't we let her go? But he insisted that she needed to lead the team, so we kept her harnessed in, and we continued home. Once we got back, we took the dogs off the line, got them out of their harness, and the last time I saw her, we were chaining her up to her crate outside. The more I learned about the dog sled industry, the reality of it, not what's put you know, online and in movies where it's propaganda making it out to be this wonderful experience that it's not. This wasn't an exception. What, what I went through and, and the way these dogs were kept, this was the norm. And I said, this is what I want to do. I want to stop this animal abuse. Uh, the Iditarod, the dog sled industry, and I'm going to do it in the name of Bianca because I can't take back her suffering, but I can make sure it wasn't in vain by making sure no other dog has to go through that being on a dog sled.